She's told you guys what she does, and you know I think she does a brilliant job because she has a great organisation called Inspire Engage, which is internationally known. Um, and she's actually like my role model. I've always watched her since she was an apprentice. So I'm actually really happy that she's come today because I really do look up to her. So, and honestly, I'm so happy because she's like to ignore sugar and um, come up here. <laughs> We've just got something for her. <laughs> We've just brought you something small. The counsellors had to do it, make me cry. <laughs> the only reason I'm getting emotional is because I think she will touch a lot of young people's. Um, like she could connect with them because she she's an Iranian and she came here young, um, at such a young age. She didn't know English or nothing, but she worked hard and this is where she got to today. So I don't know why I'm getting emotional. <laughs> um, but basically, what the moral is is youngsters from a young age can actually achieve big things in life. It's all about having dreams, setting the goals, and I don't know. I'm just so happy. I always see her on Twitter and you know, and I'm really happy. So. Honestly, uh, yeah, this is like the best welcome ever. You walk into a building, they give you flowers, they take pictures of you, they say hello and they welcome you. So just thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. That's really a sweet thing. It means a lot to me. Should I put this down? Do you want me to introduce myself? Yeah. Yeah? Um, so my name is Melody Nsoni. I'm the founder and CEO of Inspiring Age International. And the reason that I'm here today, and thank you so much for inviting me, um, is to talk to you a little bit about, I guess, the youth sector, because I think this is a real community place. And the fact that this place is launching today, I think, is just fantastic for the community. And it's so lovely to see, you know, different parts of the community here to celebrate the opening of this. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just gathering my thoughts because I'm really touched by what you said and it means, it means so much to me. I guess, what, what would be really helpful, Aisha? Would it be helpful if I kind of told a little bit about Inspiring Age yeah. and what we do and, yeah. and then link it to what you guys yeah. are doing here? Um, like, first of all, I want to say it's really, really not easy to start something like this. It's such hard work for any of you who have, have set up something new or you've opened like a centre or something, you'll know how much hard work it takes to get something going. So just first of all, I want to say a real well done to Aisha, her father and the other team member that you've got and for everybody else, I've seen pictures of how you guys have started painting this and you had young people in here and doing all these things around here. I just want to give them a massive, massive round of applause because I think it's such So, so yeah, so it is such a pleasure being here. You say it's a pleasure to have me, but it's it's really my pleasure to, to be here with you today. And it's such a sunny, lovely day, yeah, see? Is. So when things work out and they're meant to be, the yeah. sun shines, it's, it's lovely. So I remember when I was 13, I saw this article in a magazine, and it said, um, do you want to get your voice heard and be involved in setting up like a youth organization? And I thought, yes, yes, I do, you know, I want to do that. And I went along to this meeting, um, it was actually at the town hall in Birmingham, 
and I got there and people were talking about frameworks and structures and you know petitions and all these words that I'd never heard of and engagement and I was like what, what does this even mean but what I understood was that they wanted to set up a youth uh, kind of uh, it was actually a youth democratic organization and that I understood. Getting young people's voices heard and engaging with communities, that I understood. And I thought, this is such a worthwhile thing to do. And um, so I stayed involved. And it actually became the UK Youth Parliament later. It took three years to set it up. And, you know, I, I understand, you know, you, you and colleagues, like when you're working on something and you want to get it started, you just kind of think, come on, you know. But you've been able to achieve a huge amount. It's just a short space of time. You should be very proud of yourself. But, I mean, it really takes time and it is hard work. So at those times on Saturdays when a lot of my friends, like today, you know, people are hanging around, they're going to town, they did, you know, whatever. You're here and you're working. This is work, you know, you're making a career for yourself, you know, and that's amazing. And I think that that's what it is. No one's going to knock on your door and say, here's life. Like, you know, you don't, you don't turn, like, 23 and then that's the time to get a job and then suddenly everything's not ready for you on the platter. It's certainly not today anymore. So I think that from a very young age, you have to create for yourself. You have to create opportunities, you have to work hard, and it takes time. And people, I mean, on Twitter and things, I, I, I tweet all the time, and I, I said on Facebook, actually, I was going to be here, and stuff. So, who here, is anyone here, um, here because of the Facebook and Twitter that we posted? No? Yeah, for you, did you see it? Did you see it on Facebook? Oh, uh, cool, yeah, good, good. I love, I love that, like we can use our platforms to connect to people, that's brilliant. So I think that, you know, when I posted it earlier and I said I was going to come and everything, people look at Inspiring Age and they think, wow, look at this amazing, like, you know, company, she set it up overnight and it's a success. No, 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 no. Ten years of volunteering it took to build up my experience to understand the industry. It took ten years of hard, hard work, not getting paid, pulling the weight, putting passion and passion and passion in to build something up. And then, and then you're able to run a successful organization. Even now, it's an, I'm learning every day, and by all means, there's a long way to go, believe me. And there are days when I feel like I'm going to tear my hair out. But if you can find what you're passionate about, and make passion your career, and that's what we enable young people to do, then then, then it's good. Then life is good, and it's really a blessing. Fight on, you have to. And don't let anybody make you feel small. Don't let any bullies or anyone tell you that you're not good enough. Because there's no one way to be good. There's no one way to be. There's no one way to succeed. There's lots of different ways. And I think that that needs to be celebrated and let, allow people to find their own way. Do you know what I mean? So I think that it was actually Einstein, that, which forms a part of what we do, our program. It's, um, I think the quote is, um, um, what is it? Everybody's a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. You see? And it's that. We don't have to tell our young people that they have to get straight A stars, that that's the, this is the only way to succeed. No, great, get your A stars, that's great. Education is very important. If you can do that, all the power to you. If you can't, or you can't do X, Y, Z, that society says you have to do, don't worry about it. There's, there's one, two, three, four, five hundred million, billion ways of doing things. Don't worry about it at all. And we all have our ups and downs, and it's all part of the story. So I think that that kind of forms a really important part of what Inspiring Age does. And it was so funny, because on The Apprentice, people ask me, like, what do you do, Melody? Like, seriously, well, what do you actually do? And what I spend my time doing, like, day to day, is we train young people. I go and work with you know, with communities, with groups of young people to get them through the boot camps. They can do modules around communication skills, around how to break something or how to achieve something, how to set up your business or go into employability skills in order for them to feel good about themselves, in order for them to have the skills to be able to succeed. And it's very, very outcome driven and we've been able to do some really incredible things. So we're always welcoming people who've got thoughts, who've got ways, who've got young people who want to work with us to kind of, you know, contact us. And I've got some information here and we're doing this really fantastic thing and you're the first person here you're the first people to hear about it is because it just happened um, just a few days ago that Inspire Engage became 
uh, the UK partner on an EU-wide partnership across Europe to design a new training programme um, that is basically expert organisations have come together to design it to support young people to acquire skills to be able to set up their own enterprise. And it's a two-day training programme. We're looking for people to kind of who want us to deliver this and who want to work with us to do that. So let me know. And um, and so yeah. So once again, just thank you so much for having me. It's I, I really commend you on you know doing the extra thing you know it's not just going to college home school whatever you know you're doing something extra and it's not just for you to benefit it's for the community to benefit and i think that is a really commendable thing to you and your colleagues and for everybody who's here and who's supporting this actually i think it's just as important so thank you so much thank you <laughs>